Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another sit down video and today video is gonna be about fashion it's gonna be about those trends that I feel like I'm rewearing a lot and I want to maybe share with you guys perhaps you may like to update your wardrobe and maybe give you a little bit more insight how to wear these trends where to get them how to get the most out of them and they are actually very easy affordable and very simple to and easy to wear and this is after all what we all want, don't we? If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Eva. I uh, publish videos about um, beauty, fashion, life, motherhood, life in London. So it would mean so much to me if you hit that subscribe button, if this is your kind of thing and you like these sort of videos. And also please hit the notification bell and thumbs up to the video. I would absolutely love that. I share with you a lot of affordable things that you can easily get on high street. However, as it is normally within fashion, these trends usually come from the higher price point items that we see on the catwalk. So what I will do, I will always link down alternatives maybe that are more expensive, less expensive in the description box below. And I will also do my best uh, to track everything I'm wearing in this video. So you, perhaps if you guys like the fit, you like the color, you like the style, so you can actually buy it. If I can't find the item anymore, you guys, um, I will do my best to actually find the best alternative. So everything is going to be linked down below and we can start. The first item I am going to talk about are definitely slip dresses, something that evokes probably a nightwear, uh, a classic nighty. And actually people that are not really into fashion usually comment like that, but I get it. I get it. Inspiration in fashion comes from absolutely everywhere. If you watch the Alexander McQueen uh, film on Netflix, I love the start when he actually discovered that he can see fashion anywhere, whether that is a cemetery, you know, something really morbid or uh, a traumatic experience or basically everyday life. And that is so beautiful about fashion because at the end of the day, it starts as an art, it starts as an inspiration. But anyway, I'm gonna bore you, slip dresses. They've been around for a few seasons now, but they're absolutely booming at the moment. Last season, maybe it was quite hard to get. When there was a lovely slip dress that was affordable under 50 pounds, it went right away. It's still the case, so if you guys like any of these, definitely um, try to purchase them or find maybe similar alternative, I would highly recommend it. If you follow me on Instagram, if not, I would love that. It's just Evie Glamazon. You probably know I do a lot of the styling videos. So for example, wear a slit dress uh, three ways, how to wear a basket bag, styling one shirt three ways, or rewearing the same outfit, maybe changing accessories. And I show the slit dresses all the time and the amount of people that comment on it that they want to invest in is, is really, really big. Uh, so people like this trend and I can just basically sign my name underneath because it's so easy to wear. I basically recently bought the bronze one you, you see in this video. That is my latest edition. It's just, I was thinking to myself, if I go on a summer holiday, I can just pack three or four different colors of a dress that costs 30, 40 pounds. And I know I've got my evening wear, I've got my day wear, I can wear it dressed down and dress up. It's just about like taking a few belts, a few accessories, parallel earrings, a lovely headband and I'm done for the whole week and I know they're very light, easy to pack, so I absolutely love them. Now a lot of people are investing in the slip skirt, why not? I for example have got a really old one by Alexander Wang, which I'm definitely going to wear. But I'm even thinking myself, isn't it maybe better just to buy a dress and get the most out of it? Because the way you can wear it, you can just throw a jumper and instantly it looks like a skirt or you can just basically um, put a blazer over, belt it with a belt and then again it looks like a skirt because you cover the top half. So you actually, I feel, when you buy one or two dresses you get so much more out of it. I like also the idea when you put um, just a shirt or t-shirt over and a, you do a knot. So again, you change the outfit really, really well. I love that you can wear them in the city you can wear them in the countryside, you can wear them on the beach. They honestly are really, really good investment and versatile. I personally get a lot of comments on um, the gray one, which is actually from All Saints. I don't know if that one is available. That was from the winter collection. And yes, it, a little bit, it is a little bit more expensive, but the quality is really good. Plus the winter one came with a jumper. However, 
if it's not available, I'm pretty sure they have got a summer version which comes, which comes with a t-shirt, so simple white t-shirt. And again, there is your idea, you know, make it look like a skirt, change the t-shirt, uh, wear it as a dress, so you get so much out of it. So spending around £100 on a dress, but you basically have got so many options. So that is a trend I really, really love. Next item I will mention are definitely basket bags. Is it a trend that it's innovational? No, it's not. But it is a trend we see everywhere, whether we're talking uh, affordable high street brands like Zara, H&M, they all have got gorgeous hot basket bags, but we also have got designers. So you know the beautiful Prada bag, uh, you can actually pay a fortune for a vintage Chanel bag that is basically basket bags. I see them around maybe on Farfetch for like seven, eight thousand pounds. So definitely they're coming and going. It is something that you can buy in the market, whether you go to Marrakesh or you just go on into Spain. I'm pretty sure you will see them everywhere. However, they're really accessible, whether that is Topshop, as I said, Zara, Mango, they all have them. And it's about you basically getting one. Get yourself one because again, that is a trend which I love. You spend 20, 30 pounds, you can buy one or two. And I absolutely love them, not just for holidays and like sunny weather, but I actually love them, wear them in the spring with jeans and blazer. I think they look super cute. You can accessorize it with a scarf. I really, really like it. I actually like to wear them in the city because it gives me that summer feel. It gives me the holiday vibes. So they're super easy. If you get something where you can fit loads, perfect. If you get the smaller one that you find really cute, Perfect, you know, it's all about personal choices, but I think it is a lovely affordable trend that will just elevate the look really, really quickly. And they actually look great with the slip dresses. So bingo, there's two trends that look great together, but they also look well with the next trends I'm gonna talk about. So again, um, these two I'm featuring are actually from Zara, but perhaps I'll try to find a little bit more expensive if you prefer a designer option and maybe some other affordable which are maybe available online. So check the description box below. The next trend I'm gonna talk about is a utility trend. Now again, it's been coming and going, coming and going, but this season it just popped. To be honest, it's probably out of these five, my least favorite, but I know it's definitely gonna have fans out there. So I don't even have myself that much because um, from my point of view, yes, I like to be sometimes the cool girl, but I'm definitely more feminine. I like things that are sexy, more, definitely more girly, more just, yes, here I am woman, but I do like sometimes a bit of quirkiness. So that's why I'm including the utility trend. I would suggest if you're scared of a trend and you don't wanna really um, jump into something like a boiler suit or a jumpsuit that is very, utility <laughs> you can just invest in a simple shirt so for example i'm wearing this khaki shirt you can wear it with denim uh, leather it's very easy and i think an item like that can stay in your wardrobe forever or on the other hand i'm absolutely loving this parka and this is exactly it's more sort of a trench slash parka jacket this is exactly the type of item i'm talking about although i like girly stuff i like to add things like that because i wear a lot of leather so leather leggings and things like that really so it it almost brings something slightly different to my closet and I think it's a great trend which has got a huge fan base and it, you can find so many great items on the high street. I'll try to maybe find alternative things that I find really interesting so you can guys have a look and perhaps you'll find something you fancy. Another trend I wanted to mention are definitely headbands. They're absolutely huge. When you go on Instagram, everybody is wearing headbands. Everybody is talking headbands. And I love the trend. I remember when I was growing up, teenager, I used to love accessories. And I'm so glad it is actually back because it is, you can literally, with few pounds, you can elevate and change the whole look. And that's what I love about it. Whether you're wearing jeans and blazer or you're wearing a really going out dress, which is out, out there, you, you add a headband and you've got a totally different look. What I love about this trend is that designers are crazy about this trend and they're actually, I believe, brought it back. So whether that is Prada, Gucci, Missoni, they all have got great headbands. 
maybe some of them are a little bit more beach vibes and summer vibes, some of them are more evening, but they are selling out, like, you name them all, like, whether that is Dolce Gabbana or other big names. I love, personally, stuff that Jennifer Bear is doing. There are stock on that, a porter, have a look, I think she does beautiful things. And when you, when you actually go on Jennifer Bear's Instagram, you really see that a lot of, lot of celebrities are actually wearing it, even on the red carpet. The whole kind of hair accessories is just basically at the top at the moment. However, you don't need to spend £200 on a headband to elevate your look. You just can go on eBay, you can go on any affordable websites, whether that is ASOS, Topshop. So again, I'm going to link down some alternatives. My headbands are from all over the place, um, but I just love wearing them. I just feel like it adds something else and it is really easy trend. Imagine again to pack three, four for your holidays. They're small uh, and they change your outfit. So you already have got several trends in this video, which are perfect for holiday and the city as well. They don't take much space when you travel, but you can change the look absolutely instantly. And that is so beautiful. And the last trend I want to talk about are pearls, 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 pearls. I believe it's, to me, it is not a trend, but it is a trend from the point of view that it's got a massive peak at the moment. I loved pearls always. I, you know, I had things like pearl jumpers. I had pearls everywhere, really. I had necklaces, I had earrings, I had headbands. And just so much, I had shoes that were embellished with pearls in the past and but I believe at the moment it's a massive massive trend and again it can be affordable but it doesn't have to be obviously it depends on um, if it's a full pearl or real pearl and um, however people are investing in everything uh, the thing is like the, the beautiful thing about fashion and about trends is you don't have to go big so you can wear something as easy as um, a simple black blazer with pearl buttons and you can actually do it yourself so I'm pretty sure you can get you can source pearl buttons you can maybe change the buttons you have got currently and there you go so it's not going to cost you a fortune or you can just buy um, a simple pearl hair clip just put it in your hair there you go you're wearing a trend you're changing the whole look and um, I think it is a beautiful trend and I love it some people go all the way and um, you know that pearl bag uh, by Chanel that is just trending everywhere. I would love to get my hands on it. At the moment it is a little bit out of my reach but you never know. Definitely worth to mention because there can be guys, a lot of you that want to buy, want to get, want to get it and can get it just tomorrow. So it is really up to you guys what sort of pearl trend way you're gonna go. You can just buy beautiful sliders, you can buy bags, you can buy more affordable bags maybe with pearl embellishment so i think it is a beautiful trend i think it's going to look great in the summer and i thought that is definitely worth to mention because it is it can be expensive but it can be really cheap trend and really easy to wear it it doesn't really have to cost you a fortune but really can add a lot of to your existing wardrobe and how you actually wear things this is it from today's video guys. Thank you very much for watching and as I said it would mean so much to me if you hit that subscribe button, like the video and turn on the notification bell to make sure you're not going to miss out on any of the videos. Let me know perhaps which trend you hate, which trend you love, which trend you already own. I would love to definitely know your thoughts. Obviously there's so many trends going around but I thought I'm going to mention these five because I like wearing them myself and I actually was thinking about it the other day and I was like Actually, you've been rewearing these things a lot, so perhaps other people may like it as well and they're not sure whether to buy something like that. So that's why basically I decided to film this video. Let me know if you like these sort of videos as well. Maybe I can do more how to style things, uh, maybe more affordable way, more expensive way. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. But don't finish yet because there's a giveaway coming, as always. These are the things you will be able to win in today's giveaway. All the details are going to be in the description box below, but it's going to be the usual. Be subscribed to this channel, like the video, comment done, and your contact uh, email address so I can contact you then if you are winning. 
the winner is normally announced under description um, in the comments below actually so under the winning comment I normally say you are the winner so guys you have to keep an eye on it and as I said the winner is going to be contacted by email so these lipstick are basically the Guerlain Rouge lipsticks which are absolutely fantastic so this is the color I picked and you're going to get the case they basically go together this one has got actually a little mirror so it is a pure luxury I absolutely love this brand and I'm pretty sure you guys will love it as well so good luck to everybody